OTAN, Outreach and Technical Assistance Network. Okay, welcome. Um, glad to, uh, excited to present um, Learn360. Let's get started. First, we're going to talk about Learn360 and what it has to offer you. And most importantly, we're going to talk about how you can get your own free Learn360 account throughout OTAN if you are a WIOA funded agency. And then if you are interested, I would like you to sign up for an account. Um, the plan is to get the requests approved before you leave the, wor the workshop. Um, then I want to share some example uh, resources um, from different program areas. And then um, at the end, we're going to explore the Learn360 interface and how to find and share resources with your students and colleagues. Uh, this is their home page or was their home page a couple of days ago. I know it looks a little childish, but that is because um, they recently added videos from um, PBS Kids. Learn360 offers more than 190,000 videos. And uh, just to note, um, before it was 160,000, now it's up to 190,000. Um, and these are videos, interactives, audio files, maps, experiments. Um, there's also STEM lessons. Um, and these you can use to enhance your lessons. Um, Learn360 is not new, but it has been changing to meet the technology needs of its users. A few years back, Learn360 completely redesigned their website with responsive design. And what does that mean? Well, if you're using a tablet or a smartphone, um, the site will automatically reformat to give you the best look and feel. That's great for students that need to use their smartphone phones. Uh, Learn360 resources can be used in your classroom to enhance the presentation of your lesson. They can also be linked, downloaded, or embedded in Google Classroom, Canvas, or Moodle. And these are the ones that I wanted to point out. Uh, you got BBC Worldwide. These are some of the producers, A&E, HBO, CNN, um, and there's hundreds more. Um, but now let's take a live look at the website. So I am going to go to a new share. And let, let me do this. I want to share this. Okay, I should be sharing Learn360. And I'm going to share. I want to show you the difference between these and let you take a look and decide. Right now, they are highlighting Women's History Month, and there are 40 that they are highlighting. And it is a ribbon that you can go across. They also have about eight. Um, some are video. I think they're all videos. And then STEAM. I think it's supposed to be STEM, but anyway. And different things that they are highlighting. But um, I know the first shot that I showed you looked very childish um, because it was PBS Kids. So what I want to do is I want to show you what they have for adults. So I'm going to go here and because I want adults, I'm going to go to uh, middle high school and I'm going to go to videos. So here are some videos, career development, um, engineering and technology, English language arts, health and guidance, featured history. And these are just the, the videos that they are highlighting. Um, so let's go up to the top. And here there are 160,000 for sixth grade through 12th grade. 
but I want to browse subjects. Okay, what kind of subjects do they have? And this is simply a link of subjects. Um, the one I, they have calculus, 412 <laughs> on calculus. So it is not as childish as it may look at times. Um, there is a lot of resources here, um, even languages. Uh, let's take a look at one. Let's do algebra, I guess. And what I like about Learn360 is it takes and it divides a long video. Here's a full video. All right. So I'm going to select this. Most of these are full, full videos, full video, full video. OK, well, let's take a look, see what they've got. Oh, has no segments. But many of them are divided up into segments, and you may have five segments. So if you only want a short part of that video, you can do it. You can share it. You can save it. And you will, once you have an, your own account, you can create folders. And what I want you to do is to be thinking about um, what do you want from Learn360? Um, are you looking for something in math? Or maybe you want something for um, ESL. Um, you know, what are your topics and, and where are you headed with this? Let's go back. I'm going to go back to my um, PowerPoint. Have I got you interested yet? <laughs> Hopefully, yes. And let's go back to my PowerPoint. There we go. And I want I think I'm going to have to minimize this. OK, so let's come on. OK, stay with me for just a few minutes. If I've sparked your interest, I want to show you how to get your own account. Um, but stay with me for a couple more slides, and then I'll set you loose to sign up. We want to start with um, OTAN's homepage at uh, OTAN.us. And up at the top of the page, um, actually, it doesn't even show it on here. Oh, no, here it is. Um, it shows resources. We're going to select resources. And then we're going to go to curriculum offers. And what I want you to select is Learn360. This is the easiest way. On the left hand side, you will see curriculum offers, CK12, essential education. But there is that third one down is Learn360. It's on the far left. And I want you to select that. And then um, this is the page for three, six, Learn360. The first paragraph talks about the resources available. And the second paragraph talks about the producers. And the third paragraph gives you a link to a sign up form. And this is what you want to select. Um, so I want you to go ahead. It is your turn. I'm um, going to take a few minutes. I want you to go ahead and sign up. Anthony is going to be reviewing. He has access to uh, the form. And uh, he will be re reviewing your agency and uh, sending you an email um, so that you can get an account. And you will have your personal account. And later on, uh, near the probably near the end, um, I'm going to show you how to set up that account because um, he just gets you into the OTAN account, but I want you to have a personal account. So we'll go over how to do that. Um, and I'll give you about three or four minutes to do that. Um, let me know when you are done so that uh, we can move on. So one of the okay. questions is, is this available for administrators? 
as long as they are a WIOA funded agency, yes. Okay, thank you. And then the other question is Learn360 is available for California agencies only, correct? Yes. Well, let me put it this way OTAN has purchased the rights or the licensing um, to Learn360, and they have an account. And this is the account that they are sharing. Um, and so they are a California leadership project. And therefore, um, it's for California, we owe a funded agencies. And I will add, Susan, um, we have had requests from um, teachers and adult educators um, in other states. And mm -hmm. what we can do is if you aren't in California, um, we can put you in touch with our um, contacts at Learn360. Mm -hmm. um, and because actually the company that Learn360 is a part of, it's called Infobase and Infobase is a, um, a worldwide company. So what we can do is we can actually put you in touch with our contacts and then they can um, reach out to you to let you know about Learn360 in your state. So um, yeah, if you're outside of California, you can still email us and um, we'll try to help you out as best we can with that information. Okay, great. Okay, and I see the requests coming in, folks. So let me, give me a few minutes here. I'm working through the list. I will try to get this done here as quickly are, as Are possible. most people um, finished? Actually, because I've got quite a bit to present. <laughs> so Susan, Let me know if you've already signed up and you wanna move on. How's that? Yeah. Maybe, um, yeah, folks are getting their requests in. So if you, and I think it's pretty clear what the direction is at the moment. So okay. um, if let's you go want on. to, yeah, we can do let's that. Get, let's get moving. Okay. Um, this is a series um, for ESL. Um, what I like about this is um, it's almost interactive in some ways. Um, they have about 10 titles. It's called Can Do English. Um, let me pull up one. Um, it is a 10 part animated video with topics such as discussing future plans, buying items at a register, or introducing yourself. Um, first, there is a conversation that takes place. Next, the lesson focuses on vocabulary development, followed by word phrases. And the final section is called focus. And in this section, students practice their skills in other situations. Students can view a synchronized transcript of the conversation on the right. Do you see that? Um, there are some tabs there that I want to point out. This is the segments, this is transcript, and there is also quiz. And we'll talk a little more about that, but uh, let me take this a little bit further because I'm really excited. Um, down at the very bottom of the page, all pages, I don't wanna say this is specifically for um, this series, it is for all pages in Learn360. All right, where'd my cursor go? There we go. See where it says translate? It is Google Translate. And there is, I don't know, 100 and something different languages that uh, students can translate the actual transcript or the page. So let's go back here. And I selected Spanish. And the little purple imagina. Um, that is, it'll move with the words that are spoken um, in the video. So that is uh, valuable for our students to see this. And it's true for any resource, not just this series. I want to stress that. Um, in reading, I did a search on reading, wanted to see what there was. And there's reading for information, um, reading for for. Um, main idea, there's different things on reading. And if you look at it, there's 4,616 results on this. So there's quite a bit. 
quite a bit. Um, this is one I like. Um, this is, um, it's a reading comprehension, but this is interactive. Um, it's found under, um, what is it? Uh, Mr. Newsbomb's Learning Games. And this one is reading comprehension, but uh, he also does some on math where in this case, they uh, read the article. There are eight questions and I thought they were pretty straightforward and simple. First sentence says he was born in Italy, so I could select that. But um, yes, this for ABE, I'm just to give some more practice and reading comprehension. Um, this is another series. Um, there's only three in it, but this is math, um, Pythagorean's theorem, uh, linear functions, um, and there's some more on ratio and uh, what is it? Uh, ratio and proportion. So I think uh, ABE and ASC instructors might be interested in this. It is a three part uh, series, but you can also search by fractions, decimals, or whatever you're after. I'm just pointing out some of the series. Um, this is one on fractions and all their parts. This happens to be part three. And what I want to uh, share with you, you see how there is a complete video. But here's lesson one, adding and subtractions fractions that have the same denominators. And it's five minutes and 22 seconds long. If you were to watch the entire video, it's 22 minutes. So what's nice about Learn360 is you can take just a small little clip. You want to show just this one little section. So, and you can also do a quiz. And the quiz reminds me of. I think it's EduPuzzle, where you can actually put in uh, a question. We'll get, get to that a little bit later, but I wanted to show you that. Uh, and these are the ways that you can share and what you can do with it. Let's go on. Uh, this is experiments. And there are 1,603 experiments. Um, so ASE instructors uh, they want to take a look at experiments and maps um, so there's quite a few across different subject areas uh, i've been fascinated by what makes popcorn pop i thought that would be kind of cool to watch cosmetology if we have any cte um, instructors i this is way beyond me uh, Cutting, layer, central section, cutting, right side, layer, crown to ear. Um, there's just so much here. And the entire thing is 40, 46 minutes. Um, I know our cosmetology teachers during COVID, uh, how do you teach? How do you demonstrate? You know? Um, And this is one that I, I've been super excited about. Um, I also uh, work for Baldwin Park and uh, I'm in the testing center and we test our automotive uh, students for ASE certification. And there's one on brakes, disc and drum brakes, computer systems, engine diagnos uh, diagnostics, Di diagnose. Um, so, you know, uh, great resources. The interface, I want to talk about the interface. Um, they use sliders, they call them sliders. And if I were to go over here and touch this last one, it would slide forward. So I could see all of them. There's only eight on this particular one. But this is when they were they had PBS kids. So um, but recently added and other special topics, we saw Black History Month. Um, but we want to search for appropriate uh, activities and videos for adult learners. And to the left, 
right up here to the left of the logo in the top left hand corner is the I call it the uh, hamburger. <laughs> I've heard it referred to it as that. Um, there's uh, three lines sometimes referred to as the hamburger. And if we select that, and I think I did that the first time, we can select, you know, um, middle, high, sixth grade through 12th grade. And then you can select what kind um, of video, or, I mean, artifact you want. Is it a video? Is it games and activities? You want something that you can print. How about audio? You just want an audio file. Uh, mailbox is kind of resources for teachers and STEM lessons. Um, we do want to take a look at STEM lessons at some point in time because uh, it's amazing. Physics, chemistry, um, all kinds of things, and calendar. All right. And can I do it from here? Nope. I went here. Um, I did select 6th through 12th. And now you can see that they are um, featuring career development. Again, there's 11. So I could go over here and see the others. And if I hover on them, they kind of pop up with more information. But what I want to train you to do is take a look at the subjects. And I pointed out all of these subjects, 160,810. Um, there's a lot here and there's more down below. Um, and as I was mentioning before, it goes all the way up to calculus. So I'm sure there's something there for your students. Um, what I want to talk about now is a keyword search. I put in the words internet safety. So up the top here, um, the very top in the middle of your screen, there is internet safety. We also have advanced and browse by standards. Whoops. Okay, let's go back. I clicked that immaturely. Nope. Let's go back one more. There we go. I put in internet safety. And if I just put in internet safety, it will tell me what resources. Um, I don't have to select a resource, but if I specifically want a video, then I would select videos down here. So let's do the search. And what I want to point out is I've got a segment. I've got a segment. Um, here are the videos, so I know I have videos, but there's also some print material. Um, I can also, right now for internet safety, I have 294 uh, resources. Um, so I may want to um, do it by grade, which I think I, no, I haven't done that yet here. So you know, it's kind of up to you. You've got lots of filters um, and a lot of results. So let's go on. And it does tell you here, this particular segment is only one minute and 35 seconds. One down here is three minutes and four seconds. So, um, and these are both sixth through eighth grade. I think I did do a filter on this. This is the advanced search, okay? To the right of the main search window is advanced search. And we can put in a, a term. Um, here you have the option to use three Boolean operators, and, or, and not. If you were looking something, I think the infamous one is the Jaguar. I could say Jaguar, not car. <laughs> to get something on the animal. Um, but you can also uh, select the type of resource you are looking for. So you've got all of these. Oops, I constantly do that. Let's go back. Um, you've got a lot of filters. 
show only closed caption videos, a um, lot more filters. And right now it is view 142,644 results. Wow, that's a lot for, for that. Okay, you can also browse by standards. Okay, you'll find it to the right of the search box uh, just below advanced search. Um, you can put in what standards you're looking for. I want California. You can put in the grade and you can select the subject and view those standards. And from there, you can actually get to resources that address that particular standard. So that's kind of cool. Susan? Yes. Sorry. Um, we have a question from Diana. Diana, do you want to ask your question? Yeah. Yes. So I was trying to follow along with you, Susan. I'm on Learn360 as well. And I added a filter and then I wanted to remove the filter. Is there a way to do that within the results op um, once you get the results? Can I remove that filter on that screen or do I do it somewhere else? Because I didn't see it. You didn't see it. I would just go back and do it one more time without that filter. That's what I tried to do. And then the filter was still on there. Go back. Um, if you select the logo up in the upper left hand corner, mm -hmm. um, it should take you back to the home page. Oh, got it. OK, so I, I do have to completely exit out without then, looking at it and being into the program because i'm on a powerpoint oh, I, okay. I don't know <laughs> okay okay I'll, I'll play around with it i was just curious if you knew offhand okay okay thank you you're ahead of the game <laughs> but that's okay uh, anyway here are some of the results um there were quite a few um but this first one i want to point out is a segment and it is a segment from Internet Safety Pitfalls and Dangers. It is grade six to eight. Um, here is a video quiz on Internet safety. Um, but it is part of the same um, uh, resource. So we've got Internet Safety Pitfalls and Dangers. This is the one that's a little bit different. Internet Safety Guidelines. Um, for parents, how they can keep their teens safe. Um, and that's from a different title. So you might want to take a look at this particular title too to see what segments are being offered. And down here, this is 17 minutes long, and this is the complete video. So we've got a minute and 35 up here. We've got three minutes and four seconds here. So let's go to the next one. And I selected the full video, but it wouldn't matter because if I selected one of them, this would still show up to show all the uh, segments and it would simply highlight the one that I had selected. Um, again, here's transcript. You could put a quiz um, to ask some questions and it's kind of like, um, I think of H5P, where you actually stop the video and ask a question. So there are some things you can do with that. Um, the main thing is up here, share, save, site, segments, standards, and Google Classroom. So those are the things that you're going to be interested in. It is found directly under the title of the video. Um, all those resources. So let's talk about it. If I select share, and you can, all I've done is isolate that top section um, under the title. So under share and beneath it, I have email. So I could email my students. Um, I could copy the link or I could embed it. I could also save it. Once you have your own account, you'll be able to create folders um, 
So if you have a couple of different classes, you could have one for each class, or you could have one for each topic within that class, each chapter. Um, playlist, you can actually create a playlist that your students would, um, maybe two or three videos for your students to watch. And you can create a class within Learn360. And this is my favorite because if you have poor internet connection at your agency, you can actually download it onto your laptop and show it from there. So a lot of ways to share. Uh, site, you can do it in different formats. Um, I think the default is MLA. Uh, segments we're going to talk a little more about because you can take any one of these videos and say, I want to start two minutes in and I want to end at five minutes. Now, you can decide uh, what part of the video you want to show. And naturally, standards. Google Classroom, if I select it, um, it's going to ask which class. And the thing to keep in mind when you do this is you need to make sure that Google Classroom is open, um, that you are logged into Google Classroom. So let me show you that. So share to classroom, it says choose the class. I am teaching technology and distance learning symposium. I made it up. Um, and here, whoop, I keep doing that. I need to remember not to do that. Okay, here it says choose an action. So directly from Learn360, I can create an assignment. I can ask a question. I can make an announcement or I can create material. So very easy, excuse me, easy to share. This is the custom segments and you will set the start time, set the end time. You can even create your own, well, you can select which frame for your thumbnail and then give it a title and that will create. But you have to have a personal account to do this um, and it will share to your account. Um, this is the email and I did two, um, <laughs> to my Gmail account from my school account. Um, but I gave it a message. Please watch review of internet safety segment four of this video and prepared, be prepared to discuss it in class on Wednesday. So I can send the email. And I want you to see what it looks like. I'm not excited about it, but um, it tells the student, this is a great place to learn, visit Chubb. Okay. Um, and this is what it looks like. I don't like it. I'm a visual learner. I want something, I want a picture at least. So, but you can send it out as an email. Um, you can download it. And uh, the first time I did this, I was a little uneasy because it said request segment. And what that means is, <laughs> It just means nobody has ever requested to download this particular video before. Someone has done all the other sections um, and it comes up, it takes maybe 30 to 45 seconds longer to request. So don't be afraid of the request segment. Um, you can get it and, it and you can get it rather rapidly. It's not, it doesn't take a long time. All right, let's go on. Didn't move, there we go. Um, if I go for embed, um, you can do the segment, you can make it large, you can make it small. I like the embed code. That to me, um, it makes a nicer presentation for students. Um, and I really think this is the easiest way to share content. 
your students do not have to have their own Learn360 account. Um, and this way they are taken directly to the resource. And you can embed the resource on your, well, I wouldn't embed it on your website, but in a Moodle activity or simply send students the link. Susan, can we ask a couple of questions about sure, that? Sure, please. Kind of um, in that vein. So um, um, there was a question about, you're, you're talking about Moodle, Google Classroom. What if you're using Canvas? What about the ability to embed in a Canvas course? Well, Canvas allows you to embed. So um, yes, you can embed um, a resource in Canvas. And um, I don't know if you've seen the, the latest newsletter from OTAN, but it says that Moodle is going to sunset in December and we'll be switching over to Canvas. And my understanding is that OTAN will um, incorporate um, Learn360 into Canvas. So um, that's in the plan. So you will be able to, um, to do that. Um, the way that I get around things in Google Classroom, um, Learn360 wants students to get an account. And if you don't want to do that, um, the other way to do it is to do it directly inside of Google Classroom. And let me see if I can. You've got the file, attach a file um, from your OneDrive um, YouTube video. And here is a link. If you select that and just provide the link to the video, so then you would add a link. Uh, it'll go directly into your assignment. So that was a way around it. Um, and this way, students do not need their own account to view the content. Susan, um, and one more question. Um, so Diana um, has been kind of poking around the site. She noticed that <laughs> many, many of the resources have a copyright logo, <clears throat> including some of the videos. Um, in your estimation, can we legally embed one of these resources in our LMS? I believe you can, um, but I, that's why I say I would not, you cannot put it on a, an open website. If it is for your students, um, Personally, I believe that is okay. And Diana, you are the <laughs> queen of copyright, OER, et cetera. And I believe that is true. It's in a closed environment. Um, OTAN has purchased the resources. So I believe uh, that is perfectly fine. Okay, I wanna talk about Moodle. There's different, Hi, Diana, do you want to say something? You can speak. I think we're a oh, small group. Okay. okay. So yeah, my understanding is that it's behind uh, a locked, like you mentioned, um, Canvas account or an LMS that's not a website. But it was still concerning to me to see some of the <laughs> copyright. Um, so I was just curious because some of the videos, I was kind of following along with you and some of the videos were a little bit older. So um, I was checking to see if, if that same title was on YouTube and I found a couple of them, so. Okay, perfect. Mm -hmm. All right, I would talk about Moodle. Um, actually, uh, Learn360 is incorporated in Moodle. It is one of your, I guess they call them assets. Um, if you, I'm just going to put in a Learn360 video, but um, you're going to insert media. So right here, you would insert the film strip. And then, let's go on. It'll go to the file. It'll go to browse repository, sorry. You're inserting media, and then you would select browse repositories. And one of your repositories, so we're over here to the file picker, um, is Learn360 down the very bottom. And within here, you can search for videos. You don't have to go to Learn360. 
um, and it'll take you directly in. And here you can decide which you want to embed it, small, large. Um, there's also just a link. You can preview your video from here. Um, so there's a lot you can do from within Moodle. Now, this is the page contents. Yes, I got a link. There's my link. I can add a link. Okay, by selecting the link and make this so that it's active so students. Or I could type in the name of the video, make it a link. So once again, making a link. But if you select the, I guess it's the advanced toolbar. And you select down here, um, that is where you can embed. Um, what I like to do first is to um, add directions. So watch um, the video um, below and be prepared to discuss on Wednesday. Okay, something like that. So let's take a look. So when I select it, please watch the video below and be prepared to discuss in class. Here is the embed code. And what it looks like is amazing. It looks like this. So that is really cool. I, I really like the look of this. It looks very professional and you can add it to your Moodle course. All right, let's go on. All right, now I want you to get your own account. I want you to go first to the learn360.infobase.com and um, you should have your login credentials. And you'll log in with your username and your password that Anthony sent you. And when you click the profile in the upper right hand corner, it's going to say you are currently signed into your institution account, OTAN. Log in or create a personal account to customize playlists, save content to folders, and take advantage of other features. So go ahead and log in. Um, get yourself to this point. Now, if you've already gotten in, a little bit further down on that pop-up, there's a little spot that says sign up. It's below the login. And you can sign in with your Google account or um, actually with your uh, email. So that's up to you. So by having an account, you can save your content to your folders. You can create your own custom clips and you can build playlists to share with others. And continue, I guess you can start a, a video and then pick up a little bit later. But anyway, you need to sign in with either Google or with an email account. All right, now, once you have an account, um, I want you to look up in the, the corner, the upper right hand corner of the page. And in, instead, it now says, hi, and then followed by your first name. And that's how you know whether you created the account or not. So it should say hi, and then your first name. Okay, next, we want to, if I select, the profile, I get my content. So these are all the things that I'm, I've selected or I'm going to select. Um, there are classes, you can set up your own class. Um, you can change things on your profile or your um, account settings. And naturally there is a log out. So I want you to select my content. 
and this is my content. But what's really cool, they've done made some changes over the last couple of years. If um, well, let's talk about these first. This is a folder that I have um, for Coap 50.1. There's only one item in it. This is a playlist. See how there's kind of a list of things here. Oh, I did it again. I got to stop doing that. Oops, oops, there we go. And then here are two videos. What I want to talk about a little bit is the add YouTube video. You can actually search for videos on YouTube and add it to your content here so that you have it available. Um, you can also create a folder. And this is just view all. So let's go on. I want to create a folder. And it's really simple. So please create a folder. Give it a name. What are you looking for on Learn360? Also, I have selected the search YouTube content. Um, and I could add it to a folder. I can, um, in this case, I search for internet safety and I selected one and they asked me, what do I wanna do with it? I want to add it to my uh, folder, an existing folder, which I would um, kind of open up. So a, a lot of different ways to use Learn360 and even content outside of Learn360. Okay, classes. I want to talk about classes a little bit. You can create an info based class. So this would be directly um, Learn 360's classroom. Um, you can import from Google Classroom. And on the right is all the things that Learn 360 is going to do with your Google account manage coursework and grades for students in the Google Classroom. Classes you teach and view the coursework and grades for classes you administer. C, create and edit coursework items, including assignments, questions, and grades. View the email addresses of people in your class. Manage the Google Classroom class rosters. C, edit, create, and permanently delete your Google Classroom classes. Kind of scary. Um, but anyway, that's if you wanted to do Google or Learn360 classes. Okay, it is your turn. And what I'd like you to do, we hopefully made a folder. I want you to search Learn360 and make sure you use some of those filters because if you don't and you just do a keyword search, um, you may end up with some trouble. So go ahead and try it. And I'm going to uh, log out of this PowerPoint. And I'm going to take you back. Let me see if I can do this here. Because I want to. No, I don't want to. I want to share a new screen. And let's go back over here. All right, so I am in here, but notice it says middle high school educational resources. So I want you to go around, go through the resources. You may want to go here because I've got it selected. What are you looking for? And the one I really was interested in was these STEM lessons. And there's biology, there's chemistry, math. Take a look at math. Um, so intermediate and advanced. Yeah, this is probably algebra two and beginning calculus, pre-calculus, differentiation, differential equations, exponentials, logarithms. So this is pretty advanced. 
but here's graphing. So there is a lot here. Please search for the things of your interest and see what you can find. There's always featured lessons. And this would be the ribbon. And what do they got? 15 here, ellipses. And I can go across the um, ribbon. But here's featured math lessons. This is, these are interactive, a function and its graph. If you notice down the bottom, it says interactive. So that's kind of cool. So how are we doing? We have about 20 minutes left. And I can see the chat now. Yeah, Susan, no questions at the moment. I think people are working on their accounts. OK, great. And the other interesting thing is I could copy a link to this search that I just did. So when you when you do a keyword or whatever, a search, you can actually copy a link to that search. Um, Susan, it depends on where you're going to add it. Um, you're going to put it in in a folder, then let me select one. I don't want interactive. I want to go back here. Let me get a video. OK, what do I want? OK, well, I don't care. We're just going to click this. So I have a video, and I want to save it. I would put it in a folder. Um, at one point, I was working on an English class, and I wanted to do commas and, and all types of things. And for each chapter, it was something different I wanted to focus on. And so I made a folder for each chapter. And my first time through, I just started gathering. It was just gathering. Here are the possible videos. You can always remove them, but here it gives you a collection of videos on a particular topic. So Suzanne, am I saving it as a link or am I copying the link address? What would be the... Um... What do you use? Where are you using it? In the classroom? Yes, in the classroom. Okay. A video in the classroom. So, and I have two schools. One uses Google um, Classroom and the other one is using Canvas. So I'm trying to figure out what is the best... I would just download it. Okay, so when I'm here and I see my video, oh, I open up the video and then I choose save um, and download. Oh, okay, save. Well, okay, so I I opened kind of the video and then I click save and it said folder playlist class. So I'm going to save it to my folder. You can save it to your folder, but the bottom one is download. No, I don't, I don't have that. I must be in the wrong place. Um, so I found Can you see my screen. Let me use. Okay. Okay. So I see your screen. Yes. And the last one. I don't have that on mine. When I opened up the video, I just had it. Um, the first three, I didn't have the download option. Really? Okay. Now my next question is go up to the upper right hand corner. Yeah, Does it say my name? Yes. Well, that's interesting. I'm not certain why. Yeah, I just have folder playlist and class. Okay. I would first save it to the folder. 
Right. So if you have this, all you would have to do is to open Learn360 and you could uh, show it to the class from, from there. If you want to share this with students, um, I would, one class, I would go to Google Classroom. Whoops. I guess I did. I went to Google Classroom. Uh, I don't know if I'm logged in. So my other uh, question is, Susan, is that when I hit save, it says add to existing folder. And the folders that I created are not, I mean, it has like a big red triangle with a exclamation in it. Like there's none of my folders. So what happened to them? You should have your folders. If I go over here, I'm going to open up my content. Wait, wait, go lot. back. Let me see where you went. You went to your your name, my content, right? My content, and I selected right. the top one. Right. All of these opened up. Then um, I can put it in a folder so I could create a folder and call it practice, I guess. Okay, so I click on that folder. Oh, that's then, not good. Okay, so once I click on that folder, then I have to go back to the video? You Added. could, no, you can create it from where you were. So let me go back to, I'm gonna go back here. I'm going to select a video. Right. So here's the video. It opens up. And mm -hmm. I'm going to save it to a folder. Yeah. I can create a new folder down below. Right. But um, if I if I want to use an existing folder, then you have to do a drop down. Right. Here's all but, the but what happened with that is that I got a big red like a triangle. A big red triangle. Right. I mean, instead of when I when I went to my video, I, I found a video. So I searched and I found a video, right? Uh -huh. um, I don't know what happened to the video. Read around the bush. Okay, so I find a video. Do you want to share your screen? Yeah, let me do that. <laughs> I know you're you're able to do that. Okay. Did, okay. Well, I have to stop sharing. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I was like, I don't think it's working. Okay. Let me share. Okay. You see my screen now? Beat around the bush. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I am um, opening this up. And then it says save. And right there, I don't have, you know, I only have three. I don't have that download option. And then right here, it says add to, oh, so now this, mm. but it says there's it's a no drop option. down. You so, don't have any, so create a new but one. But I, I have, if you go to my content, I have all these options. Interesting. I'm not certain why it's not showing up. Do I have to select all? No. Mm -mm. Is it just lagging? Because it maybe needs time to. Upload? I'm not certain. I have not run into this problem before. So I'll go back and create a new one. Just see what happens. So do you want me to create a new. Um, a new go back folder? to the video. Go back Okay, where in the world is, if I hit back, am I at the video? Okay, I'm at the video. There it is. Okay, and go to save and save folder. Right. And then down below, um, add content. Without well, you could thing? add it without, see if, if that does it. That should do it for you. Okay, it says this cannot be found in my content section. Wow. I have never run into that before. I wonder, beat around the bush. Huh. Okay, let's let's try 
um, share. I'm gonna see what happens with share. So then I could do the embed, right? Yeah, you should be able to. And copy. Mm -hmm. And then where am I? Now that it's copied, what do I do with that? <laughs> you can actually put that into um, your Google Classroom. Okay, so then if I go to my Google Classroom, you going to want to add an assignment or something? Yeah, I guess the top of my, I don't have the top of my screen. I can't, but maybe I'll just put it here for right now. Um, so if it's embed code, am I, is the link or a download or a... I would go to, what's the one you got in your hand? Oh, that's link. So it's a, a, a link, would that be the embed code? That'd be a link, right? I think it's just a link. You would need just a link. Let's see what happens. What's it say? It says yeah. that- you do I a link need... rather than, yeah. Right, so, so let's go, go back. Okay. Let's so go back. So you're gonna go to save, no, um, share. Share. Copy link. Let me see if I can exit out of here. Okay, share. Okay, go to share, copy link. Copy link, okay. And then I can do now it. Now you can do it. Okay, mm -hmm. all right, thank you. Yeah, mm -hmm. just have to work around it. <laughs> yeah, and, and that's how I had problems trying to put uh, videos into um, or share with students. And the problem was that you had they had to have accounts with Learn360. Right. And so my way around it was to put it as a link in um, Google Classroom. And that worked. So it could actually be viewed in Google Classroom. Okay, so um, I guess the um, what I was hoping to be able to do was have like in my live 360 kind of a um, what do you call it? Uh, a library of different things that I could go to and pull out. So yeah. is there a way to put um, links in folders? You should, not links. You can put oh. the actual videos. In other words, you're going to save it to a folder. And you should be able to do that. Um, and I'm not certain why it's not doing it right now, because I can do it. <laughs> I have an old account, but I can do... So I let me show, show you. you. Let me show you the message that I get again. Do you see this? It says add to existing folder. Select the folder, and it has this. So it's direct... not showing your folders for some reason. But if you add a new one, go back. Go back to what my content or to the video. Go back to save on the video. Save. Yeah. And folder. Right. Add, and then add a new one. See what happens. Oh. Um, oh, well, here it is. Mm -hmm. That's really. Okay, so I have the hit. Oh, create a folder name. Okay. Beats. No, wait, create a folder name, but I. Oh, I, I saw your I saw your folders pop up. Why is it, it says. You haven't, Susan, I've, um, you need to select a folder again, oh, but it's not letting you. Yeah. We it's, click on that. It doesn't seem, seem to be letting her. When she clicked up, a, you could add it without a folder um, okay. and then just move it into a folder once you got to your. But so that seems here kind of I ridiculous. have my drop down, and here I have this, there. and then save. But Do now it's thing. asking me for it to create a folder name. Yeah, I've never had that before. To be honest, 
and it should go directly. And maybe it just takes some time for uh, Learn 360 to set up things. Maybe. We, okay. Yeah, I don't All know. Right. I don't know what to say. To All right. Thank you. Uh, we'll have to figure that one out. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> no, I, for me, it was, was so easy to just click and put it into folders. And as I say, chapter one, chapter two, chapter three, it was nice. Mm -hmm. And, you know, if you're teaching ESL, you may have some, you know, folders on present tense, past tense, whatever. Um, so, yeah. Anyone else have any questions? Okay, we are about what nine minutes. I'm sorry. Um, we have nine minutes left. Hello. If not we can. Yes. I'm sorry. Would you show me how I can find uh, resources for ESL students? For ESL, the one I really like. Let me share my screen. Uh, come on. There it is. I want this one. Okay. The one I like is can do. Let's see. Hopefully, I, th I think it's called can do, can do. Nope. It's a oh, there it is. Here's a series. Um, can do English, and I I love it. Um, can do English. This is navigating passport control. Um, this one has no segments, so let's go. I think if I play it, you can. Imagine you've just landed after a long flight to America, and you're almost free. So they're going through the vocabulary. Um, here is the um, the transcript. So, and they're talking about vocabulary first, and then I think they go to phrases, um, and then there's a, a section called focus. Um, but what I like is the do 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 way down the bottom. You can translate it to any language you want. So, I don't know. Let's go to something really wild. Norwegian. So you can see all of these videos here that they're suggesting. And here it is in Norwegian. But when I play it, All right, so you can translate it. So that's that's one that I really like for ESL. But let me get back to English, <laughs> or I'm going to have some real trouble navigating. So um, for English, let's say you want um, I don't know past tense. Wonder if there's anything. Here's the past tense, past tense, pronouns in past tense, pronouns in past tense. So there are a lot, I, you really have to kind of uh, focus in on the English and the grammar part of it. Um, ooh, five minutes, okay. Um, does that answer your question? Yes, thank okay. you. Mm -hmm. Anyone else? I love to explore. Laura or Christine, what are you looking for? Bill. I, Bill's unmuted. Anything? Susan, this is Dominica. Uh, could you please um, repeat the, how to create the folder? A folder? Uh -huh. Okay. 
if I want a folder, I'm going to go, let me find where my cursor, there it is. I think, oh, I'm not sharing. Let me go share again. And this. I meant your first instruction after I created an account. Okay, so I'm going up here to the very top where my name is. Uh -huh. My content. And right up here is create a folder. And you just have to give it a name. But uh, Susan was having difficulty um, because it didn't seem to show up right away. Oh. Um, but I would create your folders uh -huh. and then um, maybe during lunch, go back in and see what you can put in it. Um, I'm trying to, let me go back here. So when you get to something that you want, uh -huh. I'm gonna select this one. And I'm going to go to save. Let's see if I can save it. Oh, OK. Save. And I'm going to save folder. to a folder. Oh, OK. Mm -hmm. I can add it to an existing folder. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So there's the folder. And I just created that folder. So it should work for you, too. So I can create different folders, correct? With different content. Right. Mm -hmm. okay. So if I go back here, let's uh -huh. see if this one, I put it under practice. There's one item under practice uh -huh. and it's called the past tense. So I was okay. able to add it uh -huh. um, to the folder. So I'm uh -huh. not certain what's happening with Susan. Susan, have you been able to do it now? Yes, it's it just I mean, like the down, it's just taking a long time for it to add to my computer because now I have downloads and um, it's working faster or so it took a while to, to I guess, upload into my system. Yeah. OK, great. All right. And, and Susan. Well, yes. Uh, what can we uh, save in the folder? Audio, video, all the everything. Systems? Oh, Anything you want. Uh -huh. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think I'm going to hand it back over to Anthony to wind up. <clears throat> okay, Susan, thank you so much. Um, so I did put a link to the evaluation form in the chat. I'll do that again. And then I also uploaded... Um, Susan's slides as well. So those of you who came in a little bit late, um, you can also get a copy of Susan's slides from the chat as well. Um, but if you have any trouble you know, with the slides or if you wanna get in touch with Susan um, after the Learn360 um, presentation this morning, just email us. I'm gonna put that email address in the chat. It's support at otn.us. Um, so, um, but otherwise, Susan, it looks like folks are um, have uh, uh, gotten into their Learn360 account. They're starting to explore, starting to do things. So um, that's great. That's great. Yeah, it's a very, um, as Susan has been saying throughout the presentation, it's a very powerful resource, great way to bring um, a lot of resources to your class, both the online and the in-person too. You know, maybe if you're in-person, you can be sharing some of the videos in class and and all that so and i want to put a plug in um i think it's this afternoon at one o'clock there are um a lot more resources from otan um to help you with your curriculum um i'm doing one on teaching with technology this afternoon so might be interested in that learn 360 is just one of several so couldn't help but plug it <laughs> <laughs> sure, we always we always have to take advantage of those moments when we can. Um, okay, so we're at 10 o'clock, Susan. So um, if there aren't any other questions, I think we'll go ahead and close up the session.